okay so this is a medical condition which is known as hyperhidrosis meaning excessive sweating or excessive perspiration there are two types of hyperhidrosis one is primary hyperhidrosis and another one is secondary hyperhidrosis the primary hyperhidrosis is believed to be genetic and occurs because of the overactivity of the nerves that trigger sweat glands usually occurs in early childhood the most common sites are palm soles axilla and face Secondary hyperhidrosis usually occurs because of some underlying issues like diabetes, thyroid, if you are on certain medications like antidepressants or HIV or tuberculosis. It usually begins in adulthood and sweating may be generalized that is can occur all over the body. So for the treatment part we usually give antiperspirants like aluminum chloride in mild cases that will help to block your sweat ducts so if it doesn't help we can go for medical procedures like ionophoresis and botox injections so botox is an fda approved treatment for hyperhidrosis so what we do is we inject tiny amount of botox over the areas which are more prone to sweat so it will block the nerve signals to the sweat gland Now coming to advanced procedures which is surgery known as endoscopic thoracic sympathectomy. This surgery basically is the last resort which cuts the nerve controlling the sweat but carries the risk of compensatory sweating elsewhere in the body. So yes hyperhidrosis is treatable and seeking advice by some expert dermatologist will help you in effective management.